Over the weekend, PlayStation players were given the opportunity to try out a brand new multiplayer mode being added in Call of Duty Vanguard. It's called Champion Hill, a round robin, limited lives deathmatch tournament that's heavy on the action and light on the clock. The open alpha was playable for two days only, but with a little help from Dr. V Energy, we managed to sink some serious time into the demo. Here's everything we learned about Champion Hill and what to expect when it goes live with Call of Duty Vanguard this November. At the start of each match, you'll get a speech from a soldier named Butch, who does a very precise job of explaining the Champion Hill rules. Before I go any further, I'll let him give you the lowdown. Welcome to Champion Hill, friends. Your team has a whole bunch of lives. Lose all your lives and you're eliminated. Last team standing wins. Grab some gear at those buy stations. Take out opponents, get cash. Easy. You can also grab some cash off the ground. So, the basics. Champion Hill will pit you in teams of two or three in a round robin of eight teams total. As a pair, you'll have 12 lives between you. And as a trio, that's bumped up to 18. If you lose all of those lives, you're out. If you're the last team standing, you win. An additional mode for solo players will also be available when the full game launches. All operators will start with a basic loadout of one weapon and a sidearm, plus $500 cash to spend in an opening buy round. You won't be able to afford much here, maybe an upgrade to your weapon and an armor plate or two, but you'll be able to browse the perks, streaks, weapons, and equipment available through four buy stations. These will be familiar to legacy Call of Duty players. It's a much more restricted loadout than you can score in Warzone, for example, but classics, such as a perk doubling the duration of your tactical sprint, are there. Weapon sets are predetermined, meaning you can't necessarily bring your favorites with you, but each round of Champion Hill will have an assault rifle, light machine gun, submachine gun, shotgun, and sniper rifle available to buy. Weapons are also the only thing you're able to upgrade mid-round, with a total of 10 upgrades available before a weapon is maxed out. Of course, each upgrade will get more expensive, so make sure you're careful with that upgrade button. And here is where the tactics of Champion Hill really come into play. Beyond having to outperform the competition in each quickfire round, you'll be making constant snap decisions about which perks you need to buy, how far to upgrade your weapon, whether you need to save for extra equipment, and much more. What's a fifth weapon upgrade worth against a full set of armor plates? Should you save up for that valuable extra life, knowing you could lose it again almost immediately? Seconds. Depending on your playstyle and the competition you're facing, every match of Champion Hill will present a slightly different challenge. That's it! Take their lives! One thing that doesn't change is the map. I thought the Champion Hill Battleground was one of the more innovative parts of the new mode. The way it's designed really makes you feel as if you're part of a large-scale tournament and not simply facing off against one team each particular round. The open area where you buy upgrades acts as a central pillar to four separate smaller maps. Airstrip to the east, courtyard to the north, market to the west, and train yard to the south. While you're in each, you can actually hear gunfire echoing from the other maps as players face off in their own rounds. What this means is that when the announcer declares a team eliminated, you can often hear the firefight that led to that team's demise. Each map also necessitates a different tactical approach. The airstrip is as large as the maps get, with wider open spaces suitable for mid to long range weapons. On the other hand, run and gun players will feel right at home in the more claustrophobic courtyard. It's on you, to win a game of Champion Hill, you'll need to survive through round after round, losing as few lives as possible while taking as many as you can. Each time you win a round, meaning you grab more kills than your opponent, you'll get an extra bump of cash. If you manage to eliminate a team by taking their last life, you'll get a cash bonus. Wads of cash will also appear on the ground during each round, as will extra lives. But you'll need to be careful picking these up. Often, they'll just make you an easy target. If you make it far enough through the round robin to be in the top two teams, you'll face off in a final battle. Make sure you spend your remaining cash because in this last round, winner takes all. 
Overall, Champion Hill is a damn fun mode that really benefits from how quickly it runs. Small maps and one minute rounds mean you're never far from the action. And when compared to a multiplayer mode like Warzone, where you can wander 10 minutes without even seeing an enemy, it's perfect for players who want to spend a quick half hour gaming with one or two mates. Champion Hill will launch with Call of Duty Vanguard on November 5th. See you then. That's it! Take their lives!